on a beautiful weekend morning, you might just see Councilman Nick Massey enjoying the day on his motorcycle in Edmond or riding his bike in the neighborhood. On weekdays, if he's not in the office, he may be attending a city board meeting or writing a finance article or even playing classical music on his piano. If there's one word that describes Nick Massey, it's active. I don't know if I've ever done just one thing. <laughs> I tend to always have, you know, whatever I do for my regular job and then I've got something else I'm doing on the, on the side, either a hobby or, uh, or, or some other service or whatever that's important to me. Nick Massey's love for adventure began at a young age. He grew up in Sioux City, Iowa, the oldest of five children. After finishing high school, he left Sioux City with a grand mission in mind. I wanted to see the world and, and just had a lot of things to do. In 1967, he began his career in the Army, serving as a counterintelligence agent for a decade. That sounds a lot more exotic than it really is. Uh, it's really more like a detective job. I had assignments all over the world, the U.S., Europe, and uh, Asia, and, and I'm fluent in German. And um, so my three years in Germany was pretty interesting. While in the Army, Nick lived in the San Francisco area. His interests in finance led him to earn a bachelor's degree in business administration with an emphasis on finance from the University of San Francisco. Nick also raised two daughters who now live in San Jose, California. He has five grandchildren that he visits several times each year. He also keeps up with them through email and other ways. My grandchildren were my inspiration to learn how to send text messages. <laughs> so. In the late 90s, Nick relocated to the Midwest when he accepted a job opportunity in Oklahoma City. At a Christian mingle one evening, he met Dr. Karen Malmeister, an Edmund chiropractor originally from New York City. He was just a good guy, kind of low-key, but focused and attentive. We think it's kind of ironic, uh, uh, a woman that grew up in New York City meets a guy who spent most of his life in San Francisco and we met in Edmond, Oklahoma. Nick and Karen married in 2001. Together they built a home in Edmond and live there with their two dogs. Whenever they get a chance, they love to entertain family, friends, and business associates in their home. That's why we have this uh, a game room that just can accommodate a lot of people when Nicky would have his office parties here. I mean, it was, it was, we just loved it. We would have like 150 people here. And he has certain jobs to do. I have certain jobs and everything gets done and it's always fun. Nick and Karen also love to travel and visit family in California, New York, and Florida. It's really fun for us to, when we have friends come from California or New York, uh, and they come to visit us and they look around and we take them around Edmond and they're just amazed uh, at, at what a wonderful city it is and what a great lifestyle you can have here. Several years ago, Nick embarked on another adventure, creating his own firm in Edmond called the Householder Group Financial Advisors. When you start your own business, it's uh, you know kind of a, a little bit scary, and uh, but it's gone very, very well for us and now I kind of wish I'd done it sooner. He currently has over 35 years of experience in the investment business. Nick is also a well-known public speaker and conducts lectures on a variety of financial and economic topics all over the country. After appearing on CNBC several times, he began to write a bi-weekly column for the business section of the Edmund Sun. His column is also syndicated in over 150 other newspapers and takes a unique perspective on the world of finance. I talk a lot more about economics and demographics and what's going on with the world and, and what that means to investments in the, the stock market. But I've always been very busy, um, you know, I work a lot of hours in my, my business and when I wasn't doing that uh, I was involved in various other uh, ac activities. I just tend to do a lot of things. Nick's need for speed first led him to run track into his 30s. It also led him to race bikes. And when the opportunity presented itself, he turned to another type of racing. I finally had enough money to buy a race car and I went racing and, and got pretty serious about that for a number of years and was actually Midwest champion a couple of times in formula cars. And, I like the thrill of competition, but more importantly, I like the aspect of setting goals, whether it's in work, whether it's in hobbies or whatever, and uh, uh, achieving those. Though he retired from racing cars in 1999, Nick still stays in shape by riding bikes in Edmond. Each Saturday morning, if the weather permits, he and a group of neighbors take bike trips that last several hours. We'll ride between 30 and 40 miles, so still doing all right for an old guy. 
uh, keeping up with that. Dr. J.H. Panchal has rode with Nick for nearly a decade. It's always a fun trip because we always make it a point that when we reach halfway, there's a good restaurant to eat some unhealthy food so we can burn it off by the time we come back. And when relaxing in his home, Mr. Massey enjoys playing piano. Though Nick had traveled the world and taken part in many exciting endeavors, there was still another calling he wanted to explore. I've always been interested in, in uh, the political process and public service, but for a good portion of my career I traveled three, four days a week, so I could never do anything like that. So one of the side benefits of starting my own business was that I finally was in town enough that I could get involved in my local community. Nick has served on several of Edmund's boards and commissions. He was the vice chairman of the Edmund Economic Development Authority and the co-chairman of the Edmund Chamber of Commerce Government Relations Council. He also served on the Edmund Capital Projects and Financing Task Force and the Edmund Arts and Humanities Council. I found it very satisfying. I've met a lot of great people. Uh, I enjoy knowing what's going on in our, our community. And so, you know, until you're involved in something like that, you really don't know all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes in a great city like Edmond. In February of 2012, when David Miller resigned his position as a Ward 4 council member, Nick Massey saw another opportunity to serve his community even more. In accordance with Edmond's city ordinance, the council accepted applications from qualified residents to fill the vacant seat. I uh, applied for that and was very fortunate and honored that the uh, a mayor and other three council members decided that I would be a, a good fit for that. It's been great. I enjoy it. The biggest challenge, of course, is just uh, there's a lot of new things to learn and understand who does what and how, how we do things, but I'm picking up on that pretty quickly. He will look at both sides of a situation. If he has material, he'll read through the, the information and he'll look at it, look at the rules and the laws for Edmund, and then make a decision based on what is going to be best for Edmund. He's great integrity, uh, very ethical, remains cool when things are heated around him, and that's very important for a business, for a leader, for the city, to remain cool when things don't go the right way. Uh, he listens very carefully, which is difficult to find people who listen. Uh, and he's overall a great person, a great friend, and I've known him many, many times to put the business or the city or service before self. And I think that is a very critical thing for a public official. I just appreciate the, uh, the council and the citizens of Edmond giving me this opportunity. Uh, I've been very fortunate in my life and so I view this stage of my life as my chance to give back to a community that's very important to me. I didn't grow up here, uh, but I feel like I adopted Edmond as my home and I'm hoping that uh, Edmund has adopted me.